Hello everyone, I uh, thought I'd uh, get you in on a initial step here at Desert Gold. I'm uh, kind of doing a little baking here and see how it's going. Oh yeah, it's looking good. That is um, nice. Clear ballistic gel forming right there. We'll see how that turns out in a little while. Desert Gold here. I thought I'd update you on my current baking project and see how she's going. Take a look at her. Oh, looking good, isn't it? Quite the baker I am. Almost there. You can see there's still some coagulation on top and we'll see how it all turns out hey everyone desert gold here uh, finishing up my uh, little baking project uh, just finished the uh, cooling phase of the ballistic gel from clear ballistics and uh, you can always tell when you have got a good batch of clear ballistic gel because there's always a happy face in your gel. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? Hello everyone, Desert Gold here. Uh, got my baking project out of the oven finally. Um, as you can see, when you get the clear gel ballistics, uh, the clear ballistic gel out of the uh, mold, it isn't quite clear. Uh, you'll see a um, kind of a fuzziness to it or a cloudiness, um, not what you used to seeing when you get the, the gel originally or what you see on other videos. Uh, let's see if I can bring that in just a little bit more and you can see the how, what I'm talking about. See how fuzzy that is? Um, the company has a very interesting approach to this and it seems to work really well. Um, I think they call it polishing or something to that effect. I don't have the instructions handy with me at, the, at this moment. But what you do is you take a simple blow dryer and you start okay I'm going to try and get a See if I can zoom in a little bit and show you exactly what's going on here. Um, you'll see it's. Let's see if I can get some light on here. You'll see it's rough here. Um, got the texture of the mold to it. And as I run the uh, hair dryer over the the block, you'll see it clear up almost like. Uh, Sweeping off uh, dust off a of glass lens.
continue on and uh, we'll show you the end product here. Alright everyone, uh, as you can see we've uh, completed the uh, polishing, if you will. Um, still some areas I could probably touch up on, but you get the, the major gist of the situation. Um, really happy with the Clear Ballistics Gel. It's a very, very user-friendly product to work with. Um, its melting point uh, gives you a, a variety of different molds that are at your access. They do sell their own mold. I think it runs about uh, $55 for a uh, mold that will do the uh, I think it's about 18 pounds or 16, 18 pounds uh, the FBI block. I personally uh, I ordered 20 pounds so I, went, I didn't want to take the chance with that and as it turned out I just went and, uh, to uh, Home Depot and for uh, it was eight dollars I got a, a Homer Homer box. Uh, the material the box, the toolbox is made from, is uh, exceeds the melting point of the gel, so it worked out just fine. Um, I would uh, do your own research and find things that might be suitable for you in your circumstances. But uh, as I said, there's a a lot of um, choices that don't involve a whole lot of money to get your product molded up. Um, now that I've started uh, the project, I'm going to begin evaluating which uh, rounds I'm going to be looking at uh, to begin with. Uh, there's quite a bit of um, talk or uh, a lot of rumors about this particular round. The uh, Grizzly Extremes. This is the 45. This is the uh, nine, milli nine millimeter. These are all rated uh, plus P, 175 grain. Um, and this one is the 110 grain plus P. Um, see uh, how they do on penetration. Uh, get that out of the way. Um, close out some speculations on that round. Um, I'm of the belief as many people are that given the um, dynamics of the way the bullet is going to or supposed to expand that the penetration will be less than exciting. Other, uh, other um, um, ammunition or tests that are on the menu. Um, I've got some Elite ammo for my 5.7 uh, that I want to test out. This one here is the Penetrator round by Elite ammo. Uh, that would be this. Basically it is a 55 grain full metal jacket mill spec uh, round. Um, purported to do um, over 1800 feet per second out of a 5.7 pistol. Not bad for a 55 grain uh, bullet out of a pistol round. Um, secondly, I wanted to test, let me see if I get a uh, open box here. I want to uh, test out, uh, let's see if this one's open, it is not, so I will open it up with spot and um, this is a new round that, uh, that replaced their T4. This is a what they call the copper, solid copper trident. It's a three piece uh, fragmenting round that they 
came out with. This has got me intrigued. It's, uh, I think, 27 grains, and um, it's supposed to uh, have a rate of velocity of almost 2,700 feet per second. And as I said, when it hits, um, it will uh, um, fragment into three uh, separate par uh, parts. So we can, uh, this, this clear gel is going to open up a whole new window of uh, uh, opportunity to see performance on uh, different rounds. And as usual, you know, I haven't given up on the, excuse me, uh, I haven't given up on the battle between uh, my pet, pet, pet round 9x25 Dylan versus 357 Sig. You know I'm going to do a throwdown again with uh, penetration as the topic on that one. And uh, I don't know which will come first, uh, the 357 Sig or the uh, Grizzly Extreme. We'll see uh, how that all works out. And uh, that about covers it uh, at this point. One last thing I did forget. You, as I said, you can always tell a happy clear gel because there's always a smiley face. This is Desert Gold. You have a great day, guys.